everybody got another unpackaging for you um, got this one in the mail today uh, for those of you who watched my video last night on shaving um, to anybody that might think that it might be a good idea thinking that you just receive or that you just purchased a Spyderco and it's straight out of the box razor sharp um, please I emphasize do not attempt to do what I do okay my <clears throat> blades are sharpened by me, stropped, properly stropped, properly sharpened and it makes a huge difference just so you guys know, anybody that may not know um, so to get those kinds of results uh, I have tried it with a straight out of the box knife before and it's painful I mean it's really painful and there's a big difference between sharpening with a stropped blade and a factory edge so just so you guys know um, you can hurt yourself you could actually do some severe damage if you don't know what you're doing and you actually attempt it so just to let you guys know um, I don't even know what this is didn't even bother to look it up I just got home cooked my dinner and so I want to get this out of the way so that I can get to dinner <coughs> Not to try and rush it or anything, but let's see here. Feels like a rather small knife. Not quite sure what it is. Okay, sweet. Um, you guys all know who Case is, uh, and oops, I don't even have you guys on film. Hold on, hold on one sec. Sorry about that. God, it was like my video yesterday. Sorry about that as well, guys. Um, as you can see, got another one of these. Same guy I got my other ones from. And do you all know who Case, you know, Case Knives is, uh, Case Slip Joints? Um, well, this right here, well, actually, let's see here if I can zoom in on this. This is a W, er, C Platts. It's, um, Platts and Sons is a company that ended up joining up with Case Knives, um, or the Case Knife Company, many, many years ago. Um, this is an original. It's got stag handles. This thing is very, very old, and as you guys can see, in mint condition. Um, very, very old. I mean, the blades don't even have any scratching on them, except for maybe that one. Um, but typical, straight out of the box, brand spanking new type of knife. Now, considering this guy right here, let's see if I could find it in my book. Um, did have this dated and I'm sorry I'm not prepared guys like like always I'm never prepared okay Platts and Sons um, let's see here and it goes by the actual um, the actual state so it's Eldridge Pennsylvania I do believe that's right I can't really quite tell on the viewfinder um, Eldred, Pennsylvania. So, E L D R E D, Pennsylvania. Um, let's see here. These were manufactured in between 1897 to 1905. Uh, it was before they joined up with um, W R Case in 1905. So, <clears throat> this had to have been made in that origin. So, this one is as well a century year old knife or beyond a century year old knife and it's in mint condition um, this one as well cost me a severe pretty penny so just so you guys know uh, those are a couple of really high end knives that I purchased recently um, as far as slip joints I mean those are definitely the two oldest um, let's see if I can find the other one. Let's see if I can't 
keep this one close and working on it and everything. But or not this one close, but the other one. Um, so these two are pretty much the best condition, oldest knives that I've got. Um, not by far, but you know, pretty close to it. So there's those. This is a three blade. So let's see here. Oh, we do have combo springs. Um, you get two pen blades. So there's the one. These do not, this knife does not have half stops, but everything is nice and smooth. Polished inside. Nice back spring. Nothing's really rusted or anything like that. Really nice stag handles. Uh, the shield is a little bit above the stag handles, as you guys can see. Um, very nice knife. Uh, this is... <clears throat> I'm not quite sure if it's considered a stockman, considering the fact that it's got two pen blades, but the pinning is outside of the stag, and back in those days, you'd have... Uh, with a lot of stag handled knives, some some companies would actually do that. You'd end up with stuff like that. The blade centering's decent, good snaps on all the blades, so decent knife right there. And I also received one more today, hoping this is what I actually believe it to be, because it was actually supposed to show up like four days ago. And nope, it's not. I'm still waiting on it. I purchased two knives three separate days from each other from this one gentleman and still have not received either one and I purchased one of them before I purchased this. So I got that one on Monday and I purchased the other one I believe it was on Wednesday of last week and I still haven't received it. I purchased this guy on Thursday and I got it on Monday so that one was really late Thursday night. So this one, I just got because it was extremely cheap, uh, not like extremely, extremely cheap, I probably could have gotten it at a better price, but I wasn't disappointed with the price, it did have free shipping, and so it ended up costing me 10 bucks. Uh, this one is a kissing crane. Um, Let's see, your Cutlery Lover did a video on kiss on his uh, Kissing Crane um, toothpick, and so I just decided to buy a Kissing Crane to find out what, what it's like. It's brand new in the box. Um, let's see here. Made in China. There's your model number. 19KC5046. Same thing on the other side. <coughs> but just basically... I'm trying all different varieties of knives here guys so I can find which one really suits me best uh, I'm assuming that these are probably fake but it's uh, it is a sod buster and um, there's the kissing crane the in or the shield itself actually seems to fit a little bit better than cutlery lovers uh, God, I can't even remember the name toothpick did but it's relatively thick blade the finish on it doesn't appear to be too bad there is a little bit of gapping I mean there's some gapping up here in between the liners and the actual back spring it is a little bit you know as you guys can see just beyond the handles all in all not too bad Blade centering's not bad at all. Um, these are supposed to be abalone handles, so it's obviously a fake abalone. Um, still doesn't look too bad though. And it's very, very weak as far as the spring motion. It's got a little bit of snap to it, but this thing right here probably being nearly a hundred years old has a little bit better of a spring to it I know that knife, that blade does but this one is the weak one this one's got a little bit of blade play to it um, 
I just bought this one to try it out, see what it's like. It's definitely dull. Probably couldn't probably couldn't cut very good. Well, seems sharp. And again, this is just kinda this out. A piece of paper. I'll do a cut test with this guy. That's not sharp. It's somewhat sharp. I'm running my finger across it and it's not even cutting into me, so it's not super sharp or anything, but it's not bad. Definitely could uh, be a lot better. The inside's polished nicely though. So that's a good thing. Don't know what type of steel it's made out of. And can't even read what that says. Stainless steel, handcrafted in China. There's your kissing crane since 1934. I don't know, this could be a replica of an actual kissing crane. I don't know. Um, can't remember what I paid for it, but it's really not that bad of a knife, to tell you the truth. But those are kind of pretty as far as the coloration that's in them. It's got a little bit of a abalone kind of look, but not really. Um, true abalone is much more like vibrant. Um, this just is kind of like coloration. It's kind of like paint or something along those lines got like black handles and then it looks like a thin overlay of something put on the top I don't know what it is but it's definitely not genuine abalone and um, so that's about it not very exciting on that extremely happy about this that thing's gorgeous um, very very old and very rare so uh, that's about it for me tonight, guys. Sorry, I'd really like to eat my dinner. Um, who knows, maybe I'll turn this into a user. It doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it's got a decent lockup. There's no blade play to it. It's up and down, there's no up and down. You know, it's for a slip joint. You're going to still have the down, but you know, that's just the amount of pressure that you apply to it that makes it go down so normal you know fits good in the hand never know might be a good user decent user so who knows <clears throat> but uh... hope you guys enjoyed the video the unpackaging sorry nothing too exciting there um, the other one that i was expecting or that will be expecting hopefully it'll get here soon because I'm getting a little bit concerned. It's been a full eight days now and still haven't received it. So um, I actually purchased both of these three days after I purchased the other one. So I don't know. It's weird, guys. But hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry about the com commentary on my shaving thing the other night, or last night, should I say. So uh, just... Um, I'm sorry, I'm just so out of it, guys. I apologize. Hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Take care.